What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is a unique video. This is the first time I've done a video like this. So uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> and if you're not watching the video at 1080p 60 frames per second, you should change it. If your browser is supported, you will see 1080p 60 and then little HD next to it. And that's how you know you're watching it in 60 frames per second. All right, let's get into this. As of recording, Google Chrome is the only thing supported at the moment. Uh, but Firefox is coming soon, so if you people out there that enjoy using Firefox like I do, you'll be able to watch it in 60 frames per second very soon. So let's go ahead and get this thing open up, and let's play with this. Very curious to see how this works. It is a car camcorder, like a dash cam. You stick it up in the window, and if somebody hits you, and then they try to lie and say it didn't happen and you didn't have anybody there to vouch for you. This right here will be that person or thing that vouches for you. So very excited to try this out and see how well it does with bumps and driving down the road and, you know, just, just, just excited about it in general. So let's go ahead and open this thing up here. Peel all this off. And there we go. Car camcorder. Wide angle lens, full HD, 1080p. Super excited about all that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and set all this to the side here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Looks like it opens like such right here. It's a magnetic box, so very nice presentation right at first. Just go ahead and open that up. You see car camcorder. In here you have the little camcorder. You got some protective film right here. Let's go ahead and take that off. All right, f2.4, f equals three millimeters, if you know what all that means. You've also got a little screen protector on the screen itself. Not really like a screen protector, but like you could keep it on there if you wanted to. You've got up and down, you got OK and M. You have a little micro SD card slot. I do have a 128 gig micro SD card I'll be throwing in there. I don't know if it's supported. We will find out. Little power button right there. You have your HDMI for viewing it onto a TV, a little reset button. You have a little mini USB port. Yeah, I to be frankly honest with you, I do wish that was a micro. We're getting to a day and an age where nearly every single thing out there uses micro USB for all the phones and stuff. So it would be nice if you could use that same micro USB connection on here as well. So if they ever update this model and make a new one, I, I hope that they convert over to micro USB because it's getting harder and harder to actually find a mini USB cable. I mean, even the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One use mini or micro. So that's just one thing I noticed right away that they could change with the next model. They do include a car adapter with a nice long cable. So you should be able to mount it around your window, like the sides of the glass that you see out of and then route it up to your thing. So very, very nice length there comes with a little thing to bounce it up like a GPS unit and right away you can see where that little connector thing goes in right there so that's like that also it does well no it doesn't I thought it had a little stand for a tripod but so that slides in there like that and this would just go mount up in your window also you have a little cable for transferring to a computer it's nice that they include these because, again, these are getting harder and harder to come across. I know you can buy them. They're not, you know, hard to find. But it's more and more devices you use micro. It'd be nice if this converted as well. I won't say that again. I'm just trying to, like, make my point clear. Little thing there. And then you have an instruction booklet. And also you've got some little things here. So let's go ahead and look at those. Little sticky things. I'm guessing you can mount that on your window or dashboard or, I mean, your dash or your car and use these to mount the camera on it. I don't know. Let's go ahead and look at the instruction booklet and kind of get an idea of what all this does. The forward instructions before use. The biggest support is for a 32 gig card. That's kind of a disappointment. I would love to have seen support for a higher card, but you know what? A 32 gig card is cheaper, so it is what it is. 1080p at 30 frames per second or 720p at 30 frames per second. Looks like it does include a speaker and a microphone. It does have a built-in battery inside this thing, so it should give you a little bit of power when your car's off. 
And there's some more information about the loop recording. Two minutes, three minutes, or five minutes. 140 degrees of high definition wide angle. And then there's the built-in battery capacity. All right, let's go ahead and hook this up and get the go ahead and get the first boot up. At the end of the video, I will include a demo of driving around and stuff, so we'll do that. Plug it in, little light right here. Little, wow, that was a very quick. <laughs> that's super quick, man. That starts up instantly. Let's go ahead and insert a little SD card. All right, so just for the heck of it, I do want to go ahead and throw my 128 gig in there. And see what happens when you put it in. And let's see. Will it read it? I don't know. It's probably, it might be because it's formatted EXFAT and it might not just support that format at all. So turn it on. Wow, it looks like it's showing a time up there and it's recording at the moment. So I don't know. We'll have to see if that's, that's a 128 gig card though. That'd be pretty awesome because you could just leave it in there and record non stop. Very nice. It looks like it's showing 15 hours or no. Don't know why. That's, that's counting up, so it's probably the time. Let's go ahead and stop it from recording, though. I don't know how you would do that. Okay. All right. looks like it stopped recording. It says it's 18 hours, 30 minutes of recording that you can do. Hit OK to start. And let's stop it again. There you go. It looks like we didn't have to put a tiny little card in there. <laughs> Very cool. So let's play around with the menu here. Well, it moved. Does it start recording automatically when you move it? I don't know. We'll hit memory, resolution, okay. 1080p, 720p. Of course, 1080 is what we want. Loop recording, five minutes. So we can go ahead and turn that off or we can have it on. What's WDR? I don't really know. Motion detection. So that's cool. If it detects motion, it'll turn on. Power on record. We're going to say yes. So my car, the cigarette lighter, doesn't work until you turn it. Well, you don't turn the key. I press the button. But when you press the button and turn the car on to start it, it gives power to the cigarette light. So power off delay. We'll do 30 seconds or off. Power on delay. No, we don't really want that. Record audio. Yes, we want audio. Date stamp on. G sensor set. So... I guess it starts recording at a certain, like, if you hit somebody, like, or someone hits you. So if it looks like if you, oh, okay, so if you hold this down, it takes, it takes you to the picture screen, and in here you can choose the resolution, and we can choose a 5 megapixel picture. Uh, capture mode, single, 22 second timer, sequence, so you can take sequence pictures, Quality, we'll set that to fine. Sharpness, color, date stamp, date and time. So that's really cool. And we hold it, and it switches it. Oh, it takes you to like the pictures. Hold it again. Takes you back to video. Hold it. Takes you to picture. Hold it. Takes you to the gallery. Hold it. To get back to the video. So it looks like you can actually use a di digital zoom by holding down on the buttons to zoom in on stuff. If you press this little minute, uh, button right here, there's a little lock icon. So uh, I don't know what it locks. Upon further investigation, I have found that when you're at the home screen where you see like the viewfinder, you press the M button twice to get over to the settings. From there, you can set the date and time. You can mess with all the settings. And also at the bottom of the screen, you'll see like A, 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 A. You can change those to letters and numbers. I changed mine to Josh Do because what Josh Do didn't fit. And I didn't know what else to put there. It says tags or something. So I guess I could just put Joshua or something. And it doesn't look like you can actually take one of the lines and clear it out. Like put like a blank spot there. So if you just wanted Josh or if you just wanted, you know, three or four letters. So, yeah, th there's definitely some improving to do there. It's, I don't think that you should have to have letters at the bottom of your screen the entire time you're viewing the video that you recorded. Here is all the languages that are included with this thing by default. Also, mine was set to 50 hertz. 
I went ahead and changed it to 60 hertz in the settings. And also in here, you can choose to format your micro SD card if you want to do that. There's an option to go ahead and revert this thing to its default settings. And also I'm showing you the firmware version on their website. I can't find a way to upgrade it or even support download links at all actually if there is any i will make sure to link them in the description so you'll want to go ahead and check those out in case i you know happen to find them or the links are given to me after you hold down the m button for about a few seconds a couple times you will get to your gallery and you can navigate through them and play back the footage or the pictures here's a quick little sample at the end of that you will see the raw footage so it will look better than what you're about to see all right so uh Recording, driving down the road, driving on 23rd Street, and uh, just cruising around, seeing how well this thing picks up. I got it right underneath my park line. I, it's picking up my voice at the moment. Pressing the down arrow while it's uh, in the home screen where you're seeing the viewfinder. Go over to the settings where you can configure the date, the time, and other settings like that. So that's pretty cool. I. So far I like it. It seems to be pretty steady. I have it up in my window and I just hit a little bump there that was actually past me. So I'm gonna pull over here in a second. Wow, you got So, <laughs> oh well. But yeah, so uh, obviously viewing it on this tiny little screen, we'll have to see what it looks like on the computer and when you're viewing it and stuff. So I need to turn around here and head back home. But yeah, so this is an example of what it's gonna look like when you're viewing it, you know, at home. Uh, if you turn off the lube option, it'll just keep recording. <laughs> Soon you'll be too old for a car seat. We have handicap tags because my daughter has mild cerebral palsy. I have a whole playlist called My Daughter Has Cerebral Palsy and you can watch the videos when she was really little. Now she's gotten a whole lot better, but uh, so I just wanted to go ahead and get some insight there. So people like wondering why I'm parking in handicap. When you don't hit any bumps or anything like that, the footage is actually pretty freaking good. Like, I mean, it's so clear that you can even pause the video and read someone's tags now this is like you know you're seeing it's 428 it gets really dark here in missouri really fast right now but uh during the day this thing is super bright like it is so clear and easy to see everything again you can pause the video you can get someone's tags i mean it's the detail is really really good the only thing that would make this camera absolutely perfect was if it had optical image stabilization so when you hit a bump it doesn't shake like crazy like you saw while I was in the parking lot it does do that when you you know hit any kind of bump or anything like that but when you're going on a smooth road it is smooth riding like there is no you know up and down it's just a nice clean video on loop recording, I have mine set to five minutes, so after five minutes, it cuts that video and it creates a new video. I really, really like that because you're not recording this really, really long 15, 30 minute video and scrubbing through it to find things. So I think you should definitely enable loop recording. Plus, whenever that five minutes is up, if you run out of space on your SD card, it actually purges the very oldest recording. I noticed it would say like 14 seconds remaining. I would hit record, record for like a minute, and then it would say like five minutes remaining so it purges the oldest recording and so you can just keep recording infinitely and you'll pretty much have a full SD card the whole time until you hook it up to your computer or you go in through the thing and you delete the videos that you don't need anymore but you shouldn't have to really worry about it again it just purges out the old stuff and it just keeps recording so far I really really like this camera I can definitely recommend getting this thing to protect yourself. So if you get into an accident or someone else gets into an accident, you can show the footage to whoever you need to show it to to prove that either A, they hit you and they're lying, or B, the person in front of you, you know, they're fighting over who who is at fault, but you got a perfectly clear 1080p video of the whole incident. So pretty much, you know, <laughs> self-explanatory laid out from there. All right, so this was just the unboxing, showing you what it looks like, how to, what all options there are in the settings, a little demo of me driving around and showing you how good the quality is, the time's wrong, I'm not sure how to set the time, as you can see, I 
moved it and it started recording. So we'll figure all that out later on by diving in the settings and messing with it. I wanna go ahead and show you a quick little picture of how I have mine set up at the moment. Now I posted this picture on Instagram, that's why you're gonna see the black bars on the side and it's not that great of the picture. Not as good as the picture you're about to see now, but uh, there is a little bit of a gap like where the windshield meets the frame of the car. But once you get it down to where like near the airbag area to the right there, I don't know what I'm going to do with the cable. This doesn't look like I can put it like by the door. So I don't know how I'm gonna like hide this thing really, really good where there's no wires going from the cigarette ladder to the <laughs> dash cam. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but at the moment, hey, this works. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.